But now that we have all of the building blocks in place, everything is ready for us to actually make this platform work. So of course we are going to do that through a member stack and it is super easy to implement. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is go and sign up for member stack and then create an app. So once you've created your account, it's just gonna ask you a few simple questions such as what your app is named and what platform you're building it in. I've already done that, so here we are. As you can see, there's a couple things in the checklist. Installing the script, adding a sign-up form, adding a plan, creating your first member, and using the Find Anything tool. So since you're using the generic SaaS template, a lot of these things are already done for you. But the first thing we're going to need to do is install the script. So let's do that. All we have to do is click there, or we could go to settings and then install code. Now you can see we have this. Let's click here to copy that snippet. And then let's go into Webflow and paste it in our project. So now that we're back in Webflow, let's go over here and go to our project settings. Now all we need to do is go to this custom code section and paste this in our header. Let's put this at the top. There we go. Now that that's here, let's save it. And let's go ahead and publish it. Now that we've installed the script, we can go ahead and check this off. And the next thing we need to do is add a sign up form to our website. So since we're using the generic SaaS template, this is already done. And I'm going to show you how we did that. So here we are on the sign up page that we've created and everything is done here through attributes. So this is just a simple Webflow form, but what's making it actually work is these attributes. So if we go to this form container block and hit settings, we can see here data dash MS dash form sign up. So that's how that was added in. If you're creating a new one, just add those same attributes and all of these fields, as you can see, are linked to a certain field within member stack. So for example, we have first name, last name, email, and password. So now that we have a sign up form, let's check that off as well. The next thing we need to do is add a plan to our website. So this can be a paid plan, free plan, whatever it is that you want. So let's do that. Now, if we go to the plans tab here within member stack and then click the add button, we can select free plan or paid plan. Let's do a free plan. And let's call this basic plan and create. As you can see, we have now created our plan. The next thing we need to do is actually install the plan on our website. So the way that we'll do that is through the signup form that we recently created. So all you need to do for that is go to this little installation tab here, and it gives you these attributes, which you're going to need to add to the form. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we're back in Webflow, let's go to the form element that has the attribute applied. In this case, it's form dash container. As you can see, data MS forms sign up. So now that we have that, we just need to add this new attribute that member stack gave us. So let's get that in. Here's our name. And here is our value. So now that I've saved that, I could go ahead and publish it and then filling out this form is going to sign me up to the plan that we've created. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and try this out. As you can see, we have now signed in, but it's just taking us to the home page. All that we need to do now to make sure that people are actually being sent to the page that we want them to go to is go into the settings for the plan that we've created, go to redirects, and then we have a couple different settings here. So on sign up, we want that to be dashboard. So let's do slash dashboard. Let's copy that, save that. And let's do the same thing for login. Great. Now people will be sent to the dashboard as soon as they've signed in. So now we have member stack installed, users can sign up, we have a plan and they're being sent to the right spot. Now there's of course plenty of other things that we can do and we're gonna get into that in the next video.